My main fight of the night, Koscheck Johnson, the win seventy thousand dollars for that fight. Uh, submission of the night, Josh Koscheck, another seventy thousand dollars for Josh. And knockout of the night goes to Nogueira. Yeah. Who's first, Joe? <laughs> Did you see that fight? Yeah, I was watching. How the fuck are you getting fight tonight? Here we go again. <laughs> We're back. Uh, Tito, I was wondering, you know, in the third round, I mean, was your conditioning, you said you were hurt in training, did that have a factor? Because it seemed like you didn't have the zip that you had early in the fight. Well, I think I sparring uh, one time the whole camp. You know, I gave my heart and soul out there, man. I, I come in and I fight, you know. Sorry. I, I, my camp was as good as it can get, you know, I put myself up in Big Bear for uh, seven weeks and, you know, we put in we put in the mid work, we put in the ground work, we put in, you know, the wrestling as much as we could, we put in the weight lifting, the running. I, I did my work prior, you know, um, I come in and I fight. I mean, I don't look for excuse or anything. Um, I, I just come in and I fought and I thought I won a fight. Uh, I thought, you know, I pulled it off two rounds to one. Um, you know, this third round, I'm very thankful for Dr. William Smith here in Las Vegas for doing the surgery he did, or else I wouldn't have been able to step in against a guy who's ranked fifth in the world, man. I well, what, came in. Why I no sparring then? Why, you said no sparring, but you were telling us the other day that you were completely healthy. So just well, understand why. You got to sell the fight, right? Right, but I, I mean, what was your injury that you couldn't spar? Um, I had a uh, disc, what was it, uh, C7, C6, rest on my spinal cord. I, know, I was in traction for a while. But I mean, beyond that, man, I came in and I gave a fight, man. I, I, I put my heart and soul in my cage every time I fight. You know, I, um, I thought I won the fight. I thought I won. I, I thought I won. Forrest looked at me and goes, did you get it? I go, yeah, I got it. I thought I won. You know, I thought I, I won the first round, and I thought I won the second round. You know, I got two takedowns. I was, you know, you see the damage on his face. I, you know, I, I got him good. In the third round, I was gassed. I mean, after taking 18 weeks off, or 18 months off, I mean, I want to see another fighter come in here and get back surgery, L45, S1, two-level fusion, and come in and do what I did. Um, I gave my heart and soul, man. I entertained the fans. And for me not getting the fight at night, I'm, I'm taken back by it, but I don't know. It is what it is. You know, I, I put my heart and soul in that fight no matter what. And I thought I won. I mean, a ref, a uh, judge called it 30-27. What the fuck, man? Blind or something? But hey, it is what it is. Um, I'll be back. Uh, I feel good, you know, and I'll take, you know, Christmas, or Thanksgiving and Christmas off and spend time with my family. Um, you know, I got two new ones. Jenna's done just being an awesome job being a mother, and I got Jesse and Journey to take care of and have Christmas and Thanksgiving with, and my son, Jacob. <laughs> I'm sorry I let my pan down. I popped man. I came in and I popped my heart off. That's what you're down to. I thought I won. Tito, you're shaking your head there. You seem really agitated, uh, obviously, with the result. Um, do you want this rematch right away in terms of this is the next fight and no one else? Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm pissed because you know, I, I didn't have my hand raised at the end. You know, I thought I pulled it off. You know, um, yeah, you could call it a 10-8 in the third round. Um, I came in and I fought, you know, I, I thought I dominated the first two rounds. Um, I caused a lot of damage. Um, yeah, he got a sweep at the end of the second round, but I was fine. It was, you know, he got a sweep and that was it. I didn't know he could get that many points off of the sweep. Um, I pushed the pace, you know. I'm just, I'm very thankful, you know, God's given me the gift to step in his cage and fight again after having the back surgery I did. And uh, it's Dana's call, you know. Um, me and Dan talked before about possibly doing the ultimate fighter. Um, I don't know. I would like to do this fight with Forrest as soon as possible. You know, um, January, February. I don't know when. It's in Dana's hands. You know, um, I remember back in the day when Dana was even president of UFC, and he was my manager, and he said, "Tito, uh, just put my career in your hands, and I'll lead you the right way." And Dana, my career is in your hands, man. So I'm here to fight, man. I'm 34. You know, compared to Couture starting his career at 34, I have a lot more fights in me. I want to. I want to fight. I want. I want to. I want that title back, and you know, I was bummed. I thought I pulled the end out tonight, and you know, Forrest is, is a seasoned vet, man. He's ranked fifth in the world, and you know, he, he's a gym rat. He's used to training. I mean, and I, the time I've taken off, and the surgery I went through, and I'm just thankful to be in the cage fighting again. I'm gonna be back, man. I'm gonna be back. I just, you know, it's in Dana's hands, like I said. Uh, you know, there's always been a lot of talk about uh, about jitters, whether it's first time in the cage or. You know, coming back after a long layoff, and I'm just curious, both of you, how you felt, you know, coming out, um, 
crowd reaction, just being being in there under those lights. You know, I, I live for stuff like this, you know, at the WANs. Um, this is what fuels me, it's fans, the screams, the cheers, the roars, the boos, the cheers. I, I, I fuel on stuff like this. I, um, you know, I, I'm a fighter, yes, at heart, but I'm an entertainer, man. Stuff like this fuels me, it's just energy, it just, just, you guys can't imagine the feeling walking out and having, what was the tennis for Dan? Uh, 10 5 29. That many people coming out and screaming, you know, the cheers and just hearing my music come out, and it, it, it's it's the showcase for me. I know my job is to come out and fight, but my job is to put on a great show. I'm trying to finish the fight, of course, but I, I want to put on a great show. And there's no energy like that. And after taking 18 months off of coming out and competing and doing something like that, it hurts losing. And plus, when you feel like you want to fight, it hurts losing because I put so much time into it, the time away from my family. You know, and letting my fans down because, as Kevin Ioli, you know, you said you're 100%, but letting down fans knowing that I came and I gave my heart and soul and to be robbed like that, eh, it is what it is. I'll be back and, I, you know, like I said, I get my hands to Dan and my career to Dan's hands and I'm going to be back. Bye. After, obviously, the, the back troubles, I mean, this was supposed to be your chance to come back at 100%. Are, are you concerned going forward about the condition of your body long term? No, are you no. ever going to be there again? Yes, I'll be there again. You know, um, I am... You know, for me coming back, it was supposed to be a warm-up fight. I mean, Dana would have went on and been a warm-up fight, and, you know, Forrest is no warm-up fight, being ranked fifth in the world. I, maybe that might have been out a little too much, but I still thought I had won the fight. Um, uh, I'm far from being over, dude. You understand. I mean, at 34 years old, man, I, I, I feel great, you know. Um, I just want to be able to get back in the gym, you know, after having that long layoff like that. I think I might have overstepped my boundary by coming in too quick, you know. After back surgery, after only one year, I want to see another athlete do what I do after one year of having two level fusion. Um, I think I've broken some records. You know, I've done it before when I had uh, knee surgery and I had ACL replacement. I came back after six months. Well, having two level fusion to your lower back, uh, coming back after a year. I don't think there's ever one athlete or one human being in the world has ever done that. I'm breaking records, man. It's cool. Coming back and fighting a guy, Forrest Caliber, first match back. Do you take, you know, what what positives do you take from uh, from the fight? I take all the positives. So, uh, I thought I won the fight. Um, you know, um, I got some more work to do. You know, I got to get my timing down. I, you know, that was my number one thing. I said my timing wasn't down. I came in with heart and determination. I, I, I put it in the gym. I, I have a lot more stuff to do wrestling wise. You got to understand. I, I was able to wrestle for once in this camp. I was able to, to, to shoot and have my legs under, underneath me. I got an awesome strength coach, Paul Lacanino, out of uh, um, Mission Bay, who works with me. And uh, he's been with me for the last seven years. And we were able to do stuff in training camp that I wasn't able to do before. I mean, I was squatting 235, five, uh, rep, or five sets, 20 reps. I haven't been able to do that in six years. My legs are under me for once, you know. Um, in the third round, I felt gassed, yeah, but I think it was just ring rust. Um, but I have a lot more into me, man. I just I have that focus on, you know, I got two new, new sons that I got to feed their mouths, man. I got to feed a family. So it's all about work, work, work. My career is in Dana's hands, and uh, I'm on the positive note of uh, being behind Zufa, behind the UFC. I'm a company man now, you know. Before the bad stuff we had before, I was standing up for a lot of fighters, you know. Um, I, I won, and, you know, I raised the bar for a lot of fighters financially, and it's all about fighting now. It's all about going in, trying to cut people's faces, and I tried tonight, and, you know, I got robbed.